name is Tom Schaller. I'm the pastor here at Greater Grace. We want to welcome you tonight. We hope that you relax and enjoy the message of our play this year. We're so thankful for the people that come and hear the message of God's love. It's so important in the days we are living that we would understand that God is personal, that God cares about you and your family and your friends, and that the message of Christ is for everyone. Christ was raised from the dead. He's the answer for our lives. Grow in him, learn of him, and know him. He will give you peace. He will establish you on a rock. He will encourage you and teach you. Uh, you're at the play tonight. Thank you for coming. And then come again and come and make this church your home. You are so welcome. God is with us. God cares about you and grow in him. Learn your Bible. Learn about faith. Learn to pray. Have new friends. Walk by faith in God. God cares about you. In Jesus' name, amen. He has come to bring light to the darkness. He has come to bring freedom to the captive. He has come to restore the brokenhearted. It's time to proclaim the year of the Lord. Prepare the way Make ready your home, make ready the people of God, prepare the way. He has come to bring hope to the hopeless. He has come to comfort all who mourn. He has come to heal our every sickness. It's time to proclaim the year of the Lord. Prepare the way, prepare the way for our Redeemer. Prepare the way. Make ready your home, make ready the people of God, prepare the way. Make ready the people of God. Prepare the way. Prepare the way. I, John the Baptist, 
had a message for the people of Israel. They needed to turn away from their sin and get ready for the coming of the Messiah. People wanted to know if I was the Christ. I wasn't even worthy to tie his shoes. My job was only to prepare the people for his coming. I baptize with water, but when he comes, something new will happen. He shall baptize with fire and with the Holy Spirit. And behold, he did come, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. To think that he asked me to baptize him, how could I? But he insisted. And as he came up out of the water, the Spirit of God descended upon him like a dove. And all who were there heard a voice saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious. Hey, Mr. Wilson, what are you doing? Painting, Dennis. Mrs. Wilson wants us to spruce up the place a little bit. For Easter, you know. We have family coming over. So I'm painting this entryway so it looks more inviting. Inviting? Yes, Dennis. Inviting. We want people to feel welcome. Like they want to come in. Who would not want to come into your house, Mr. Wilson? You're the best, Mr. Wilson. I always like coming to your house, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Why, thank you, Dennis. That's a nice thing for you to say, especially when you smell Mrs. Wilson's cookies. Well, they sure are good cookies. <laughs> yes, they are. And I've had my fair share. I think Mrs. Wilson is in there cooking some right now. Wow, red. I really like the color red, along with blue, green, aquamarine, mother of pearl. But wow, red, it's, it's a very bright color. Well, this is a special red. It's called lamb's blood. And it reminds me of a story. Stories? I love stories. <laughs> I know you love stories, Dennis. But this is about the lamb of God. The lamb of God? Yeah, the lamb of God. See, God brought the people of God out by the Lamb of God. It's a story of the Passover. It's about slavery and forgiveness. See, years ago, the people of God were in bondage, and God brought them out by the Lamb and his blood. Children of Israel, listen to me. Death is coming to Egypt. And this will be the final answer to Pharaoh's hard heart and his defiance of our living God. And this will be the end of our long, long slavery. For here is the mystery of God's mercy. It is the blood of an innocent lamb. Now take hyssop, dip it into the blood, and strike the doorpost of your homes. Then enter in quickly to your houses and eat the Passover meal. For tonight, death will come over all the firstborn of Egypt, but to us inside of our homes with the blood applied, we will be saved. Lord, thank you that when you see that blood, you will pass over us, no matter how fearful 
and no matter how doubtful we are. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the precious blood of the Lamb. Hey, Dennis. I think I smell Mrs. Wilson's cookies. You want to go in and get some? I need a break, kind of to take the edge off. They sure smell good, don't they? Mrs. Wilson really makes some delicious cookies. That's a cool picture, Mr. Wilson. It looks like a bunch of people around the table. Yeah, that's the scene of the Last Supper. It was painted by a missionary friend of mine. You see these other two? One has the cross and one with the tomb. They all go together. See, the, 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 remember the story of Moses, Dennis? God told them to celebrate that day, the day of the Passover, that those who put the blood of the lamb on their doorposts would not have death visit them that night. This last supper scene is actually Jesus with his disciples celebrating the Passover. The Savior was in Jerusalem celebrating the Passover the night he went to the cross. Now, Peter, what I have just done for you, I want you all to do for each other. I want you to wash each other's feet. I want you to encourage one another, to forgive. I want you to love each other. As you know, I have loved each and every one of you. For it's going to be by the love that you have for one another that the world knows you belong to me. All right, everyone, let's pray and begin the Passover. You now let me go too far away. Oh, I've strayed. Oh, I've strayed. All I have found is love that remains. Love that remains. I made you were not face. No, you were not face. All I have found is love that remains. Love that remains. When I was in need, you saw it after. Watch on my weary feet, prepared a feast, save me a seat, and brought out your best for me. All that I had, I had wasted away, but you took my shame, put a
Impossible, Jesus. Not so. Lord, I would die for you. Now, Peter, tonight before the rooster crows, you have already denied me three times. What? Judas. What you must do, do it quickly. Let's gather our things. I think we'll go to the garden to pray tonight. Andrew, why don't you lead us in worship? Let's do um, Jehovah Rohi. Yeah, Jehovah Rohi. The Lord is my shepherd. my shepherd I shall not want he makes me to lie down in pastures of green he leads me beside still waters he restoreth my soul he leads me in his righteous paths for his name's sake Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you're always with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me, and you prepare me a table in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup it runs over. Yes, you anoint my head with oil, and my cup it runs over. Surely goodness and mercy 
shall follow me all of my days, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever always. Yes, I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever always, forever and ever always. Peter, yes, James, John, I need you to pray with me. Yes, of course, anything. That the Father's will would be done. Yes. Please, I am in great distress. Pray with me. Father, Father, I need your strength. I, I, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. The burden is heavy. Am I going to be able to make it? Lord, please. If I'm going to make it to the cross, I need your strength. Please. Please. Uh, Peter! Peter! Could you not pray with me for one hour? Please! Pray! You can do all things. If this cup can pass from me, please let it be. But not my will. Not my will. Your will must be done.
So this is Jesus. This is the man who's been causing so much trouble among my people. Well, he doesn't look like much. Are you the Son of God? Are you the Christ? Tell us. You say that I am. <coughs> and soon, you will see the Son of Man seated on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. <sighs> Why do we need more witnesses? Why do we need more witnesses? No. You ripped this blasphemy from his own mouth! What do you think? It's a criminal. Guilty. Blast me. Death. Take him to pilot! Get rid of him. Take him to pilot! You! You were one of them! You're a follower of Jesus! Yes! You don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. You were with his disciples. Yeah, for sure this fellow was with Jesus, for you are a Galilean. What are you talking about? I never knew the man! <laughs> sure would hate to be Peter. Denying the Lord like that? Jesus must have been awfully mad at him. Well, Dennis, this is the good news about God's love and forgiveness. It's complete. When God forgives us, it's a complete forgiveness. The Bible says he remembers our sin no more. And God forgave Peter. As a matter of fact, Peter was important to preaching the gospel in the early church. God forgave him completely and used him mightily, just as he does all of us. As a matter of fact, Dennis, that's what this second painting is all about, the one with the cross on it. Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins, we are forgiven just like Peter was. in this man and the things that you said. What? Now, your Passover has come. And as tradition, I will release to you one prisoner. So choose Barabbas, the murderer, or Jesus, your king. Barabbas! 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 Fine! Have Barabbas and be damned! But what shall I do with this man who you call the Christ? Crucify him! Crucify him! Your king! I'm the king of Caesar! I wash my hands of all of this! Crucify him yourselves! And may his blood be on your hands! Get rid of him! Oh, 
<laughs> Prophesy now, Jesus! Who pushed you? Was it him? Or was it me? <laughs> That's enough. Get him on a cross! your crown. Here you go, King of the Jews, your majesty. <laughs> yes, every king should have a crown. Hail, Hail, King of the Jews. <laughs> you get his feet, you get his feet.
careful. Be careful. Hold him tight. Please be careful. Don't drop him. Be careful slowly. Hold him tight, please. Be careful. Slowly, slowly. Be careful with him. Lay him down slowly, please. Slowly. Be careful. Wrap him tight, please. Wrap him tight. Be careful. Slowly. Truly, this man Jesus was the Son of God. Wow, Mr. Wilson, you should can paint a picture with your words just as your friend does with his paints. But you still haven't told me about the third painting, the final one, the one you call the tomb. Well, Dennis, that's the best one of them all. It's the picture of the empty tomb. It's where they laid Jesus' body after his death on the cross. But the reason why it's empty is because he didn't stay there. He came out. He did what no one else could do. Uh, Mr. Wilson, do we still have to put blood on our, on our doors? Because I don't think my parents are really going to like that. No, dear this, we don't. We don't. I just like that color because it reminds me that Jesus shed his precious blood for me. And now my sins are forgiven. You know, Dennis, this afternoon, we've talked a lot about what Jesus has done. How he died, how he was raised, and how he forgave our sins. Would you want to accept Jesus right now as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Do you believe that he died on the cross for your sins? Yes, I believe. Well, why don't you... Pray this prayer after me and receive him as your Lord. Just say, Jesus, I believe I'm a sinner. I believe I'm a sinner. But I thank you that you shed your precious blood for me. But I thank you that you shed your precious blood for me. That all my sins, past, present, and future, are forgiven that all my sins are all forgiven. And that I will have eternal life with you forever that because I, of what you have done. That I will have a eternal life with, for you forever because of what you did. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah. Today, you are in the kingdom of God. Yeah. My heart is broken. Jesus gave me a new life. <sighs> he made me feel clean again. He forgave me. I will never forget this. He told me my faith would make me whole. But it is so hard to have faith right now. <sighs> Oh, how he loved me. Jesus loved me when no one else did. My 
Let's see how this Nazarene rabbi behaves in proper company, as if anything good could come out of Nazarene. <laughs> how can a man who calls himself a teacher of God eat with such scoundrels and scum, prostitutes and tax collectors? <laughs> Why, I heard he's even touched a leper. <laughs> Jesus, welcome. Shalom. Shalom. Prepare the meal, please. Thank you for having us. I hope you don't mind. I did bring a couple of my friends. Oh, shalom. No problem. No problem. Thank you. <clears throat> great. <clears throat> How did she get in here? Why is he letting her touch him like this? This man cannot be a man of God. <laughs> Simon. Yes. Allow me to tell you a story. As you wish. There was a man. He lent money to two people. The first he lent 500 pieces of silver to, and the second 50. But neither of these people could repay him the debt. Out of kindness, the man chose to forgive them both their debts. Now, who do you think out of the two loved him more after this? Well, obviously the one that owed the larger debt. You answer well, Simon. Simon, look at this woman. When I came into your home, you did not present me with any water to wash my feet. Yet she washes my feet with her tears and her hair. You did not greet me with a kiss. But she has not stopped kissing me. You did not present me with any oil to anoint my head. Yet she anoints my feet with a rare perfume. Simon, I tell you, this woman sins, and yes, they are many. They have been forgiven. So she has shown me much love. But he who sins are forgiven little can show only little love. Daughter, rise. Your sins are forgiven. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Who does this man think he is that he goes about forgiving sins? Thank you, Master Savior for the life that you have given me. Oh, come, we still must go. The Sabbath begins at sundown. We still have to prepare the lamb for the Passover meal. Yes, the Passover lamb. It reminds us of the first Passover, the blood of the lamb that saved our people all those years ago in Egypt. And now here lies the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, who took away my sins. Yes. We must remember to come as soon as Sabbath is over so we can anoint the body afresh. We cannot let the stench of death escape his remains. But the stone, how will we get to him with it in the way? Let us go. God will take care of that. Come. When I heard Jesus speak in the temple, his word filled my heart, and now his dead body is filling my tomb. Has there ever been another like him? And all the things he did, and all the things he said, oh, and the miracles. Lord. Jesus, oh Lord, son, of David. son of David, please, Lord, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lord. Oh Jesus, Lord, son of David, here, have please, mercy here. On us. I am here. Lord. Here, what would you have me do? That we might receive our sight, Lord, to be healed. I can, I can see you! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Daughter of Israel, I release you from the bonds of Satan. 
You are healed from your infirmity. Rise. I can move. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Unclean. Unclean. I am unclean. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. I am willing. Be clean. Oh my, oh my. it's gone. The leprosy is gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Look, Jesus healed me. Jesus healed me. I'm clean. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm clean. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary, your brother will rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Didn't I tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Lazarus, come out. <laughs> You're alive. Come this way. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come, let's go. Nicodemus, my eyes and my heart have been opened. Yes, it became clear, and then all the trouble began. How could so many of our people not see this one for who he was? Perhaps we are too smart for our own good, Joseph. I remember meeting Jesus. I was afraid what the Jews and other Pharisees would say, so I went in the night. He spoke of being lifted up so that men would not perish. And he also said that it had to happen because God so loves the world. And he also spoke about being born again. Such confusion filled my head. Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth. Shalom, Nicodemus. Thanks for meeting me at this hour. You are a teacher from God, Rabbi. Your works reveal this. This is what I think. Really? But do you really believe this, Nicodemus? Because I tell you that you must be born again in order to truly see the kingdom of God and know the glory of his salvation. Born again? What do you mean? How can this happen? How can a man physically go back into his mother's womb and come back alive again? You are a master in Israel, and you don't know this. Don't you teach the people? Yes, I, I do. The wind. The wind blows wherever it wishes. You can hear it. You can feel it even. But you don't know where it's coming from. And you don't know where it's going. It is a mystery. So is it with those who are born of the Spirit. It is a mystery. And the only answer comes from above. Listen to me. God so loves this world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe in him would not perish, but would have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him so that the world might be saved through him. Born again. Born again. Born again. Am I born again? Born again? How about alive again? How many times he predicted that he would be killed yes. and then raised after three days? 
But we didn't understand what he was saying. We just couldn't believe it. Yes. Now Caiaphas and other priests are worried about this. They want this tomb to be guarded by the centurions all night. <laughs> so the rabbi is more trouble to them now dead than alive. This one who raised the dead, who commanded the stone to be taken away and Lazarus came out. Yeah. Will he too come out? Let us believe, Joseph. The sun is going down. It's Passover. Could this be a night unlike any other? Let us hope and let us go. The Sabbath is here. Ooh, tell me again why we're here. What's the night shift? The Jews say they heard Jesus claim he would rise from the dead after three days. We're here to make sure Israel's dead king stays right where he is. What if the disciples come for the body? Then we'll make certain they join him.
Wow. Wasn't that beautiful? That was beautiful, right? But there's a question that you got to ask yourself. Are you ready to receive Christ in your heart? See, in Romans 4, 25, it talks about he sacrificed his son to die on the cross. That's what you just witnessed, right? You just witnessed him dying on the cross for our sins. Anything that's against God's will, our sins, it's just negative, right? But the passage goes on to say that he rose again so that way we could be justified. Another passage says, so we could be made right by God. You just heard the protection, the freedom cleansed. Everything that we're seeking in this world, he's given it to us on this cross to make us free. And in Romans 3.22, he says to be made by, right has to be done by faith. And so for anyone out there who has never took that step of receiving salvation, as you've seen, Mr. Wilson and Dennis, this is your opportunity. What I ask is that everybody bow your heads. And if it's for you and you're choosing to, just say these words, Father God, come into my life. Be my sin bearer. I know I am a sinner. I ask that you cleanse me. I ask that you walk with me, heal me, protect me, give me your peace. I receive you, Father, in my heart as my Savior. Be my Father. And if you said that, put your hands up. And welcome to the life of Christ. I'm walking with God. And see, not only is there a walk. Yeah, you can applaud for that. That's beautiful. That is such a beautiful thing. But now, what you want to do is you want to allow God to work in you and through you. How do you do that? You want to make yourself available. Everybody has their own ideas of what they need to be, but God is just saying, my, my arms are open. And if you come, I can use you. So I ask that you allow God to work in you and through you so that way you can be used. And what I like to do now is I like to praise God. Can you guys praise God with me? So if you guys can get to your feet, we're going we gonna to worship God here. Can you guys stand up and sing with us? Can you all stand up and sing with us? Can y'all clap, please? Put your hands together, please. Yeah, put your hands together. Sing with it. He got up. He got up. I said that he got up. He got up. I said that he got up. He got up. I said that he got up. He got up. You know he rose from the dead. He got up. I said that he got up. He got up. I said that he got up. He got up. You know that he got up. He got up. I said that he got up.
So at this time, for anyone who raised their hand and received salvation, if you could come to the front so we could pray over you. Anyone that raised their hand and received salvation, please come to the front so we could pray for you. Please come up on the stage. You guys can come up on the stage. Oh, you want them down? Okay, I'm sorry. You guys got to stay down there. I'm sorry. I misspoke, everyone. I'm sorry about that. If you could come to the front of the stage. Okay. It's amazing. It's amazing. Everything that you just raised your hand to allow God to work in you and through you. That is something that is so strong. And I'm just speaking from experience just to let you know that God loves you. As you just seen right here, whatever you're going through, God wants to heal you. God wants to be your protection. God wants to use you to save someone else. You have a voice. Use it. Allow God to love you. You are worthy. Can I pray for you? Father, we just thank you for these lives that raise their hand for a relationship with you, God. We just ask that you just cover them, no matter what it is that they're going through, no matter what it is that they're facing on a day-to-day basis, that they just trust you, God, and that they learn to lean to your understanding and not their own. Father God, just give them purpose. Give them vision. Give them understanding of who you are and continue to cultivate their relationship with you, God. As they leave, just protect them and let them let the word meditate on their heart, Father God. We just thank you in the blood of your name, we pray. Amen. We have a free Bible for you. So before you leave, you want to come to the Welcome Center. You can follow Pastor Jason right here. He'll take you. If you guys want to walk that way, he'll take you and you'll get a free Bible. Can we get a round of applause to all our all of our new followers? Outstanding. Outstanding. Last but not least, I like to close the night out by praying over you as we travel home, as we begin a new week. If you allow me to pray with you, can you bow your heads, please? Father, we just thank you for an amazing play, an amazing cast. We just thank you for the lives that just got saved, Father God. We ask that you just pray over our week. We ask you pray for traveling mercies as we go home. Any endeavors or anything that we're facing, anything that's on our minds, we ask that we just be placed in perfect peace under you, Father God. So as we say these things to you, we know that you will do your amazing work. And we just ask that you just continue to cover us, watch over us, and continue to work in us. In the blood of your name we pray. Amen. You guys are dismissed. Thank you for coming out.